Welcome to this video on the item catalog equipment section. Here what you're doing is setting up all your types of equipment for estimating. So you're not going to put every piece of equipment you own in here. You just need to set the individual types of equipment. Each equipment is going to have a default cost and a default price so that when you add this equipment to your estimates, it'll make sure that the estimate is recovering its fair share of equipment costs, overhead, and of course the net profit needed to help you hit your sales goal. So why don't we take a look at how to set this up. From the item catalog menu, just click equipment to get to the equipment section. If you're looking at our sample, you'll see a list of equipment similar to what's on my screen. I don't have every single unit number, every single truck in here individually. I just have the different types of trucks, the different types of skid steers, excavators, anything I might want to use when I'm estimating work. Let's take a look at how to set up a piece of equipment now quickly. Let's jump on a skid steer, for example. I've got a skid steer here, it's equipment, and then it's up to me to choose whether I want to estimate it in hours, days, or each. For install work, I tend to lean to estimating to days. Usually an equipment's on a job for the full day, and it might not be working all day, but that's okay. I'll come up with a daily rate, almost like I rent my customers the equipment for the number of days we're gonna need it at their property. For maintenance, of course, it wouldn't be like this. Maintenance where we're going to a lot of properties in a day, or maybe even just several, I'm gonna to have to do that in hours. It's gonna be more accurate that way. We wouldn't charge a whole day when we're only gonna be at a property for a couple hours. Since this is a skid steer, and since it's for install, we'll leave this at days for this example. We'll cover an hourly one in a minute. If you charge sales tax on equipment, you're gonna to wanna to set that up there. Otherwise, these are just notes. Flash over here to this screen. We've got a cost per hour and a cost per day. Now, how do you know these things? This is where the calculator comes in handy. Click the calculator. You're gonna be asked a series of questions, starting with how many billable hours per year? This is a critical question for equipment. How many billable hours per year is gonna determine largely your cost per day or your cost per hour, because we're saying you can only charge out your equipment on so many hours per year. Now the hours per year doesn't have to be operating hours. For me, it's rare that I might put 750 operating hours on a piece of equipment. However, what it's asking for is billable hours, chargeable hours. And what I'm saying here is, I probably charge a skid steer 75 days per year on site. And so if I took 75 days and I multiplied them by say a 10 hour day, I'd come up with 750 hours. So all my costs are gonna be calculated to be recovered over 750 hours. As a company, we need to make sure we estimate this skid steer 75 days out of the year. Then we'll know we'll recover these costs. If you're dealing with hourly stuff, i.e. maintenance, you might wanna think about your billable hours at different weeks. For example, I would say equipment gets used six hours a day times 35 weeks a year, and then come up with your billable hours that way. However you get at it, just remember, this isn't your operating hours, it's your chargeable hours. How many hours are you gonna be able to charge on your estimates for each one of whatever equipment we're putting in here? Next, you got hours in a typical workday. So set that for however many hours you typically work in a workday. Then you got your purchasing costs. Assuming you've done your budget, LMN makes it easy. You can simply click import from budget, then find the item that you're doing in your budget, select it, and then hit OK. Now in this case, I didn't have a skid steer in the budget. This is just a sample one. So I've entered here purchase price, finance rate, expected life, and resale value. So you don't have to have the piece of equipment in the budget, but it probably should be there, and it makes it a whole lot easier if you can just pick it from here. Next over here, your operating costs. This is your annual maintenance and repair. How much a year you spend on maintenance and repairs? How much a year you spend on insurance and licensing? And all these numbers are per skid steer, not the sum total of all your skid steers. Finally, you've got average fuel price and the average fuel consumed per day. If you're not sure about these numbers, just try to think how many times do you fill it up per week, and then divide that by five to come up with your gallons or liters per day. At the end of all this, you'll end up with a hourly cost or a daily cost, whichever one works for you. When you click okay, those numbers will get inserted in here. So now we've got the right hourly or daily cost to recover all the operating costs of this piece of equipment. Next up, we're gonna add overhead to make sure we recover some of the company's overhead. If you're using the field labor hour 
overhead recovery method. This will be set to zero since the field labor hour recovery method doesn't recover overhead on equipment. Next, you've got your break even and my price. And I can either use a profit margin from the budget to calculate my price to get me to hit my sales goal, or I could override my profit margin and LMN will tell me what I need to charge for that profit margin, or I can set a custom price. Let's say we're used to getting 25 bucks an hour for the skid steer, and it'll set a daily rate. Now, just remember your hourly rate, and your daily rate does not include an operator. This is for your equipment only. The operator charges will come from your labor catalog, which we set up in the last video. But this will be enough once I click OK to get our equipment covered. Now you've got your costs, your overhead recovery, and the price you need to charge to make sure that, that equipment covers all its costs when you add it to an estimate.